In this video, I'm going to review a Black Sting Q Series Q from J Flowers. How come, you may ask, because I'm known as the Q-Tech guy. And not only do I like Q-Tech, I'm really fond of the quality and the perfection they bring on the table when I play with them. Jay Flowers contacted me knowing that I'm the Q-Tech guy and they challenged me. You really think the Q-Tech is so much better than our products? Test our Q and let me know what you think about it. Yeah, what definitely piqued my interest was when I saw that players like Earl Strickland or Oscar Dominguez or Jeff DeLuna are sponsored professionals by J Flowers Cues. But of course the most important question is, if a queue worth around $300 is able to compete with queues which are more valuable, more expensive and also come with a carbon shaft. And that, of course, is something I wanted to know and you folks out there definitely also want to know. And they honestly said, you can say whatever you want, either if you like it or don't like it. So I thought to myself, should I do this? I asked QTech, they said, just go ahead, compare the two brands and here we are. And since I'm that biased with QTech products, my review is definitely going to be very detail oriented. I know exactly how my QTech cues play, so the method of choice for me was to set up different shots I know very well. I know exactly how to play them, I know exactly what to do and how the response and the feedback on my cues is. So I set up some basic shots like draw shots and follow shots, but I also set up some more difficult shots and a little drill which I play on a regular basis. And before I go into the details of my review, just have a look how I've compared those two cues and how both of them played. Enjoy. Thank you. 
So at first glance, you might think that there's not a big difference between the cues because the outcome is basically the same. But I have to be very honest with you, I had to adapt quite significantly from one cue to the other. It's not good, it's not bad, it's just that the cues play a little bit different. Let me put this straight. I'm definitely surprised when it comes to the quality of play. Especially the shaft definitely impressed me with his low deflection and high degree of control I get out of it. I was not so fond when it comes to the tip. Jay Flowers said uh, the standard tip is a Mori medium tip, which surprised me because I played Mori medium tips for many, many years. And this tip definitely does not feel like a Mori medium tip. It more feels like a break tip, like a soft break tip, but it's even hard to get the chalk on the tip and also to have the chalk uh, remain on the tip. That was definitely surprising. And it also feels very hard, even harder than some of the hard tips out there on the market. And I also had some of my friends play with the cue and they all had the same impression and feeling that it's a beautiful cue, but the tip was just too hard. If you don't like the harder tip, then just change it to a softer one. It's not a big deal. But it definitely surprised me and annoyed me because I know Mori tips very well and to me this doesn't play like a Mori medium tip. I have no idea what they put on the queue or if the tip has been sort of damaged or affected by all the travel and shipping. I have no idea, but this doesn't play very well. So the design of the queue to me is something which is all about personal preference. But I'm very honest with you, it's very appealing also to me and many of the friends of mine who played with this queue and some of them even said it's a really beautiful queue to them. Another interesting thing is the lizard wrap. You can get it on this queue with a blue wrap or a black wrap. I got the black one and to me it's decent, it grips very well, so I had no problems with it. But there was something on this queue which slightly annoyed me and I want to show you. So what I really don't like here is the setup or the placement of the lizard wrap on the J Flowers queue. If you compare it with my white SVB edition Q-Tech Q or the Ghost uh, edition Q, you see that the letter wrap is a little bit more set backward, which is definitely more suitable to modern playing uh, geometries and position of your elbow, arm and wrist on a Q. The butt of the J Flowers Q is actually quite long. Uh, not a bad thing, but this is something which definitely annoyed me to a certain degree. A big plus is the radial joint on this queue. It just tightens and connects the shaft with the butt perfectly. Just love it. One thing is really positive and that's the amount of customization possibilities you get via their website. Either you can choose uh, different kinds of wrappings, you can choose whatever shaft you want, uh, you can choose uh, different diameters of course, uh, but you can also choose uh, tip options. You can also select between uh, what kind of side plate you want. With side plate they mean the plate directly underneath the tip, uh, either black or a white one. Uh, when it comes to the weight, that's a downside because you can only choose between 19 and 90.5 ounces. I think that's not the best thing. Uh, on the other hand, you can choose whatever kind of extensions you want, a shorter one or a longer one. So 
Just wish they would have had more wait options to choose from for the queue. Would I change from QTech to J Flowers? Personally, maybe not. Would I recommend J Flowers queues for people who want to buy a queue for low budget and have a high quality queue? Definitely yes. I think this queue offers a lot people are looking for. You get a decent and good queue for a very, very good price. I want to thank J Flowers for allowing me to review their queue and be very open and very honest. And I also want to thank QTech for allowing me to do this review also very open and very honest. Of course, folks out there, I'm hugely biased because I love QTech products, I love the brand, I love how QTech queues play. But I have to admit that J Flowers queues are worth a buck, meaning you get what you pay for and you most certainly will not be disappointed if you buy this queue. But if you ask me if you should buy QTZQ or J Flowers, you would know the answer. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of these reviews, please let me know in the comment section below. See you in the next one.